So this weekend, McMurray University Theater presents an Italian comedy from a Nobel Prize winning playwright, Cap and Bells. Here to tell us more about it is David Ainsworth, Cambria Jaramillo, and Kevin Roberts. Thank you all for joining us today. They said they didn't match on purpose, but how cool is that you all kind of have the same colors on? All right, David, tell us about this, this show. Well, uh, Cap and Bells is about a woman in a small Sicilian town who strongly suspects that her husband is having an affair with the wife of one of his employees. So she lays an elaborate trap to expose the affair and disgrace him, but things do not go as planned and mm -hmm. it backfires on her. And it would be a major spoiler to reveal how the unpleasant circumstances are avoided, but it's typical of Pirandello that he creates a situation in which the only sensible thing to do is something completely irrational. And that's about all I can say without tipping Giving our away too much, <laughs> right? Okay, tell us about the roles that you both play in this. Um, well, I play the lead female who believes her husband is having an affair. Um, Beatrice Fiorica is her name. And Hi, uh, I play Champa. Okay. And he is uh, the husband of the woman who her husband's uh, essentially having the affair. Okay, so there's a lot of complicated relationships yes. <laughs> in there. What is y'all's favorite part about doing this show? Oh, goodness, so much. Um, I like getting to shout like an angry wife. <laughs> I think that's my favorite part of the show, is just being able to be like, mm, he's a scoundrel and we all know it. And everybody else is like, no. And you're like, yeah. Definitely is. Okay, uh, what about you? Personally, my favorite part, um, there are some lengthy, lengthy monologues for Champa. I'm mm -hmm. talking page and a half mm -hmm. of just me speaking. And what's really cool about that is in each of Pirandello's plays, uh, he selects one character to essentially act as his voice and it's cool to see bringing Pirandello back to life in the modern age and being able to do that in this play. Okay so David it says here that this is your last show to direct and design costumes be before retiring. How long have you been with McMurray? Uh, this is year 17. Okay so what's What's it like to be um, putting this together for the last time? Well, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to produce a, a piece of dramatic literature as opposed to a piece of commercial fluff. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I'm going out on a, a happy note because I've always admired Pirandello. I've known this particular place since I was taught high school, but mm -hmm. I've never really had the opportunity to put the cast together for it until now. Okay, so, so when does this show run? It opens Thursday, it runs 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th of February, 13th, 14th, and 15th at 7.30 p.m., okay. uh, 16th at a 2 o'clock matinee. And uh, admission is $10, general admission, $8, McMurray students, faculty, and staff, with a $3 discount on Thursday and Sunday this time. So how many people do you have in this show? Twelve altogether. Twelve students. Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate all of you coming on today. I guess this is the last time we'll see you here on KTAB for you. So if you want to come out for Mr. Ainsworth's last show, you can see it at the Ryan Little Theater on the McMurray University campus. You can see the show February 13th through the 15th at 730. There will be a Sunday matinee on the 16th at 2. To get your tickets, you can call the box office Wednesdays from 3 to 6 or go online at mcm.edu theater.